been getting lots of comments on the STS video that I posted about these magnetic battery holders for Milwaukee. I'm saying that these magnets in this holder are gonna kill this battery. And A, Snap-on's been doing this for seven, eight years with no problem. Number two, only lead acid batteries are really affected with magnets. And number C, I have a magnetic field viewer right here. You can see that the magnetism is pretty well condensed in this area on the battery. And you lift it up till you can barely see right about there. That's how far the magnetic field is going right there. Show you other one right here. And it's got real condensed magnetic field there. I have a similar magnet that they use in here, right here. And as you can see, gives off that same magnetic field. We flip it the other way onto this side. You can see it's not nearly as magnetic on this side. Anyways, so the insider ratchet fit sideways on the lift with the STS magnetic battery holster. Yeah, <laughs> sir, it does. This guy back. I was getting a bunch of comments, people saying it's adding weight or it's adding stress to this joint, which yes, of course it is. If you're hanging it from the battery, it's gonna cause more stress on this joint. You definitely want to hang it on a lift like this versus this, just because it's got a little less stress on the actual connection this way than it does the other way. That being said, these things can move around. It's completely normal for these to flex. You can see, I'll keep it going, wiggle this around. It's not losing a connection the entire time. So, take this off. You can see the actual connection here can move around. It's got a ton of movement and the entire time it still has connections. It is designed to be able to flex like this for the impact. Basically, when you're impacting, the battery's gonna be vibrating and they've designed it so it doesn't lose contact. Now, I don't think you're gonna have any problems with connection issue using the STS battery holders. And totally fine. Half inch Uggy Duggy right here. See this connection moves around too, nice and wiggly. So yeah. Let's try this one, shall we? Nothing. Nada. Again, this has a little bit of play in it. Solid. A lot of people are worried that this is gonna wear out this joint over time, and yes, it might wear it out a little bit over time compared to not hanging up your tool off of the battery, but uh, I prefer not being a and making money off my tools. All the people in the comments saying it's gonna grab onto metal objects, not really. It takes, right here, it's not gonna pick up, so it's really not that big of a deal. And then you get a bunch of metal, scrap metal, rotor dust, and random metal off the ground is gonna get hooked to this over time, and uh, that might be true. It's like this right here, but you can see, you can wipe that shit right off. Bing bong. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Do a quick testy poo. See, I'm holding this, looking at this drawer, sweeping it over. Nothing. That's a non issue, bud. Non issue. You can also hook these together like GoBots if you want. People are also saying that they're going to leave their tool on the bottom of the lift like this and crush their tool. And um, I got a solution for you. Um, don't put it there. Yeah, just don't put it there. Don't put it there. Put it here, put it here, all right? You can put it here, okay? You can put it here, okay? But don't put it here. Just don't do it. Problem solved, right? Go just.